Hey guys, welcome back to Vision All Access, and today we're answering that burning question that's in every Android enthusiast's mind. Samsung Galaxy Note? Or Samsung Galaxy... Nope. So this is one of those rare, rare videos where I actually get a little hot under the collar and have a differencing opinion than what I've come to see as most of my other favorite YouTubers, with the exception of Dave2D. He actually shares a very, uh, a very similar opinion to me. If you wanna watch his video, I'll link it right up here in the iCard. But uh, let's get into it. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 actually does bring some impressive specifications. Nice dissolve. We got the Snapdragon 845. Uh, depending on which variant you choose, you can get either six or eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got that 6.4 inch infinity display, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and you do get the benefit of the S9's cameras the, with the dual aperture on the back and the front facing camera. It's eight megapixels, but no optical image stabilization. The S Pen does come with a few tricks that we'll get into later, and it is IP68 certified for not only the phone, but the pen as well. So to be fair, I'm actually going to dive into what I actually like about this phone before I dump all over pretty much the whole event. <laughs> First off, I love Samsung's Infinity Displays. Now, don't get me wrong, I love as much screen real estate as possible, and the notch on like the iPhone and most other Android phones don't really bother me that much, but I don't know, I just really like how Samsung's done it and the forehead and the chin, you know, doesn't bother me. Six gigabytes is, you know, kind of becoming commonplace. I think we'll see way more of them in 2019. Eight gigabytes of RAM, that's a nice addition, but once again, you're paying for the uptake. What actually might make that uptick in price more relevant to you, is the storage sizes. 128 gigabytes of on-device space. Plus, they still have the expandable storage option for a micro SD card. Now, one of the staples of the Note lineup has always been its defining attribute. It's S Pen. It's the best stylus on the market right now for any smartphone, and that's hands down the number one opinion across the net. And it does bring a couple new tricks up its sleeve. Before it was just an average stylus, didn't have any power source or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about keeping it charged. Now they have added Bluetooth low energy to this pen, giving it a few new doggy tricks. The side clicker that used to access the little menu on the front of the phone, now that can be used to do such things as trigger your shutter button for your camera. Pull the S Pen. You can also do things such as, you know, start, play and pause movies if you want to, click through slides on your presentation. They actually debuted this at Unpacked pretty awesomely by controlling the presentation that was up on the quite beautiful display, I might add, with the S Pen. I've been controlling this presentation with my S Pen. That was pretty, pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. What I personally have used for that, in my current vocation, not so much. But I'm not everybody, you're not everybody. Everyone uses a phone for different varying reasons. Let's get into what I'm not really enjoying about the Note 9. This should have been the Note 8. Legit. This phone is here as what I would like to call just a cash grab. It's an incremental level, not unlike the iPhone's S model phone. So you're not getting a revolutionary new design. Um, you're just getting refinements, you're getting improvements. Is it worth it for $1,000 or over 1200? And this is US pricing, keep in mind. Is it worth it? Absolutely not, I don't think so. The only person that should really be spending this money on this phone is a person that either number one, needs those power improvements, or number two, is sick of their current phone. I'll give you an example. If you're a Samsung Galaxy user that's been stuck on their Note 4 or Note 5 for the last couple years, and you're really thinking it's time for an upgrade, absolutely, that Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is going to be legitimate heaven for you. 
If you're a person that, you know, has, you know, a Samsung Galaxy S8, S9, Note 8, I personally don't see this as being your phone of choice. I mean, is it really worth it? Think about it. In another couple of months, we're gonna have the S10. This one I'm hoping is gonna be like iPhone X level marketing, play, enthusiasm. Like I'm hoping this is going to be like the next phone. Samsung's got hit it out of the park with this S10. Or as I think I should start calling it the SX. So does this impress you? Let me know down in the comments you know, if you disagree, if you agree, let's keep the conversation going. Keeping the ball moving though with the rest of the Unpacked event because we didn't just get the Galaxy Note 9. We also got the introduction to the new Galaxy Watch. For a long time, it was rumored that they were going back to Android Wear and no, another Tizen operating system. Once again, I'm not gonna tell you the watch doesn't look good. It's a beautiful watch. I think the rotating bezel or ring around the watch is the best kind of navigation that you can expect. Really, I do. I love it. But once again, is this worth upgrading from your S2 Classic, your Gear S3 Frontier? I really didn't see anything during anyone's reviews, anyone's hands-on, that would make me think that the watch is uber special. So, you know, once again, form your own opinion. I'll link a video or two down below. So down below in the description, I'll put a link to the Unpacked event itself as well as a shorter version if I can find a more condensed one. But um, you guys give me your thoughts. What do you guys think on the watch? Personally, I'm thinking a pass. And the last thing that happened at Unpacked, I honestly wish it didn't happen. Play music. The Bixby smart speaker is a thing. The Galaxy Home. I honestly want people to comment here. Do you think Bixby is awesome? Now, I have an S7 Edge, so I don't think I'll get the chance to really enjoy Bixby. But from everyone's opinions and thoughts on it to this point, I really don't see Bixby as a major contender. It's hardly ever mentioned. But then they called it a like a future forward design. I think it's a speaker that looks like it's sitting on a stool. Like I prefer a couple of different speakers over that one. I prefer the Google Home Mini, uh, even the regular Google Home, despite its limitations, supreme limitations. The Apple HomePod is pretty nice. And we can't forget about Amazon Alexa. They, they're they really kicking it up in the whole speaker market. You know, is there room for Bixby? As far as I've been told, the speaker is not gonna be cheap. It's not even available yet. It's going to be down the road, just like Apple's HomePod was. One of the biggest kickoff points is that it is in a partnership with Spotify. So unlike Apple, who really made their own HomePod with Apple Music and having Apple services. Here comes the money. Here we go. You know, Samsung went the other route. They partnered up with Spotify to bring you something where you can use almost anything you want. They didn't mention Google Play Music, but if they didn't, and don't include functionality for that, I'll take it as a huge miss. So let's get to the brass tacks of it in closing. Unpacked was, I felt, kind of lackluster. Beautiful presentation and a solid device that should have been introduced last year. Galaxy Watch, beautiful, kind of a refinement. Galaxy Home. <laughs> Need I say more? So follow me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Let's uh, keep the social media and discussion going on this Unpacked event, or if you choose Galaxy Note 9. And don't forget to subscribe to Vision All Access because I got some cool videos coming down the pipe, some great ideas. So want you guys to be subscribed, hit that notification bell, just to keep updated and make sure you're one of the first to watch because I don't think you're gonna wanna miss these. Anyway, thanks for coming into Vision All Access. Peace out.